Hey guys, just before I start, for 30 seconds, just be patient with me. Two things I need to say. For anyone that does watch the channel, and thank you so much, please, if you can, if you can subscribe, and next to the subscribe button, there is a bell. If you can please press that bell and then click on all, that way you are always notified when I make a, um, a new video. And also the second thing, thank you so much to all the people that are donating for church number five in Kenya of St. Philip. And if anyone wishes to help us, I'll put the link below in the description. The miracle I'm going to speak about today is absolutely fascinating. It's It's got five miracles or what I call five different stages of the miracle. And each stage has got its own miracle which make and comprise the overall miracle. As many of you do on social media, you put, say, a prayer request. And what I'll do, I'll put it up here, it's in Greek, and I'll translate it now. So this family put a prayer request on a blog spot, and it was for George Ioani, John, a 14-month-old baby. This baby, as the prayer request says, um, it was one of two twins, um, and two months ago, it says, it had an open heart surgery, and since then, it's been in hospital. Now, it says, five days ago, the little baby had a stroke, and the doctors are only giving the little baby a few days. So, that was the prayer request and this is also the power of prayer as well. So the first phase of the miracle, according to the family, goes like this. The doctors, as we said, gave him only a few days because out of the tubes, fat was coming out through the tubes. So what they did is they did what we call a paraklisi. They prayed to Osio Serafim. All of a sudden, the fat stopped and the doctors removed the tubes. So the doctors told the parents that within one or two days, the baby is going to get an exitidio. So it's going to be discharged. And also that the baby had a saint next to him. The second phase now, which according to the notes from the family, there's two miracles happening here. As we said, that once the tubes came out, the little baby had a stroke, like I said at the beginning, and all his left side was paralyzed and the baby went in a coma. So the doctors have called the parents to urgently come to the hospital because, basically to say the goodbyes. So what the family did, they prayed to the Holy Trinity, to our Panagia, and to the saints. And what they say is they were doing paraclesis again to the saints, to Osio Serafim again, and also to Saint John the Russian, which is this saint here. And I'll say something at the end, which is relevant to uh, what's going on in today's society. Um, and also, as they say, to Virgin Mary Din Arvanitisa. Although the baby was, as we said, ready to die, the father put holy oil from Saint John and all of a sudden, his condition stabilized. And this is what the doctors speak about the miracle that happened. The lump in the brain of the little baby, as well as the thrombosis in his heart, all of a sudden disappeared. So the baby comes back from the stroke. And the only thing here now that's a problem is its two left limbs, which are moving at a minimal movement. So now phase number three, the doctors have called again the parents and have said, please, we give you permission for the little baby to take Holy Communion from the priest of the hospital, the Onasio, as the little kid now had internal bleeding. The family start praying and they pray to again to the saints to our Holy Mother Virgin Mary, and the uh, internal bleeding stops. And again, the doctors cannot believe that this is happening. Now, we are going to go to the fourth stage of this miracle, where the saint now appears. So the father again takes the holy oil from Saint John, here the Russian, 
and he goes to anoint his little baby in emergency. And all of a sudden, he felt someone touching his back. So the father turns around and he sees a young doctor. And this young doctor gave him an aifasma, which is a little material, in a shape of a cross. And on it, there was mir. You know, mir, that smell, that beautiful fragrant smell I've spoken about. And this doctor said that he was sent by Father Dimitrios. And Father Dimitrios said to anoint the little baby with his mirror. He also told the father not to stress and not to be upset because the little baby is going to be okay. So the father anointed his little baby. And as he turns around, the doctor had vanished. He did not hear any door opening. He did not hear any door closing. So he straight away goes out in the corridor and there was no one there. So then the father goes to the nurse's station and he asks about this young doctor. And the nurses tell him that there is no young doctor. So then he asks for the priest, the priest of that hospital, Onasio. And he asks for Father Dimitrio because that's what the young doctor said. But it says that the name of the priest from the Onasio was not Father Dimitrio. After a bit more searching, he found out that Father Dimitrio is a priest that actually looks after the St. John the Russians, his reliquar, where they keep his holy relics. And now this is where the miracle concludes. The fifth um, let's say stage and miracle within the miracle is the very next day after the appearance of Saint John the Russian. What it says is that the little baby started basically having um, uh, use of his uh, left limbs. Like I said, that were not working before. They took out the tubes, the solines, and now the little baby is eating normally from the mouth and is also gaining weight. This miracle happened last year. So what I want to say here is two things. First of all, St. John the Russian is the saint. For those that remember, I've made a video with um, a few of his miracles and I'll put it below in the description as well. And he is the one that said to St. Iakov Tsaliki, there must be a war. There must be a war. There must be a war. He said it three times to St. Iakov Tsaliki. And as I said in another video, why there should be a war is just because otherwise this agenda, and we can see how it's going around the world, literally the world, I can, you can see it. This new world order and this agenda of the Antichrist literally is attacking humanity. And that's why I believe that is why these wars will be there to stop the Antichrist from what he's trying to do. And the second thing I want to say is, as we saw here, all we have to do is pray. Pray to our Lord, to our Panagia, to the saints. And look at the miracles that happen, like people, a little baby, strokes, um, having tubes, having um, thrombosis in the heart, even internal bleeding. It was healed through prayer. And we know that prayer is the strongest thing. We know that back in the days, we didn't have church leaders saying, you know, take this little devil and in, in, inject it into you. They used to take out the holy relics of the saints. And sure enough, things would stop. Like St. Paisio, when there was wolves at Ayo Oros, and, you know, all the monks were scared. And they wanted to bring in hunters to kill them. And St. Paisio said, no, just wait, we'll pray. And the next day, all the wolves had gone. They were dead. So what I'm trying to say is that's what the leaders should be telling us to do. Prayer, Holy Communion, repentance, and to trust our Lord. Okay, not this evil agenda. And that is why I chose this miracle, because it fits perfect with a miracle about health. How the saints intercede, as well as our Holy Mother and our Lord. 
and also why there must be a war. Please, always repent because we never know when death finds us. And if anyone's taken the first round of that little devil, don't take the second one. Do your holy confession that you took it and don't partake. Just pray. Pray that the Lord intercedes. I'll put a few links below in the description with some videos and also the charity. And I pray for you all morning and night like an unworthy sinner that I am. Take care.